What is happening everybody, my name's Seven and welcome to a Player Unknown Battlegrounds video. Now I've been asked to do lots of guides on this game and I thought I'd begin with the simple factor of how you enter the game itself, which is parachuting. Now with parachuting there are a multitude of different things you can do to increase the experience or to achieve a certain desired expectation. Say for example, you want to fly further, you want to fly faster, you want to chase a certain individual, you want to know when to jump, where to jump, how to get easy kills once you have jumped, what things to avoid. So this video will showcase 10 tips that I can provide you which covers pretty much everything that exists when it comes to parachuting within player unknown battlegrounds. So this video will provide you with the best tips on how to achieve everything that you wish. I hope you enjoy the video. Now tip number one is when you first spawn into the game you're provided with a loading screen. Now this loading screen will last up to a minute and once that has happened you will spawn into the plane. When you look at the map by pressing M on PC you can see the path that the plane is going to fly now every game this is random what you want to do to make sure that you jump and parachute down to the best location that is suitable for you is if you don't want to get into loads of conflict you want to see where the players are jumping out and watch how many people do throw themselves out you can press V on PC I don't know what it is going to be on console but you can click it and look inside of the plane this gives you an idea of how many players are left so you know which areas are going to be more conflicted use this as a guide to basically determine when you want to jump if you want to go for kills, jump when loads of people are jumping. If you want to stay alive and you don't want that conflict, then jump a little bit later into the game. Now, if you are somebody who doesn't actually end up jumping or you disconnect from the game, what occurs is that you are automatically thrown out of the plane at one point. Now, this point will be at a random location, but it tends to be just before the plane is about to disappear off the map. Now, my best advice is if you're actually in and you come back, set a marker on the map to your dead-on location and dive down to the land now the reason i'm saying to do this is because the players that have disconnected they're technically free bait for you guys so if you want to get some free kills at this moment in time it's still achievable they're on disconnected players i've sped this process up a little bit but i start running over and you can see one of the disconnected players was purposely doing this trick as well to get an easy free kill from the start of the game now i go up to him and he unexpectedly oh what the hell and i get into a fight with him and we use our fists and i thankfully win the fist fight and he dies so i I got a free kill to begin my game that to go on top of all the kills that I'll collect also during the rest of the game so that's a little secret tip for you guys just right there for you players who want to make sure that you reach a location where the plane hasn't taken you you want to make sure that you look upwards so that your character is almost parallel with the landscape below now what you're going to look for is you want to go for 126 kilometers an hour and you want to remain at this point now if you're wondering how I'm looking around I'm using alt which allows me to look around my perspective and so with this staying at 126 kilometers an hour will allow you to fly the furthest point away from the plane now the next tip which i'll show you is what i'm also doing right now on screen which is a form of swinging now this swing will also help you push forward a little bit more say for example i'm landing at this location which is the mansion and i'm not just right there from the dive so i just start swinging a little bit and i head off into the location i want to and this is because of i i basically did that long jump technique now the tip I was just showing you in the last one towards the end of the long jump is known as the swing technique. So basically what you do is you parachute down and you can do this from a, a very height if you want to. You can start from the point where you can pull your parachute or you can do this when you're getting lower to the ground and you just need to edge yourself a little bit further maybe to land on a roof or to get out of a way of an object. So I've sped this process up here but what you can see I'm doing is I'm dipping forwards and then I'm swinging and by letting go of the control it swings my character forward slightly. Now I will maintain a constant speed and it helps me budge forwards a little bit and get further into the field than most of the players. Doing this from a high height as well also increases the ability for you to actually see where other players are going. So if you want to do it higher up, then great. But obviously it gives you less time to loot at the start of the game. You players who want to get straight down to the ground as fast as possible, you want to find your compound or the location you're going to naturally jump to. And you want to aim straight down to the ground as much as you possibly can. And you'll know when you've achieved this because you'll hit 234 kilometers of hour, which is basically terminal velocity within this game. So you're going to be heading straight down to the ground 
and if you want to get further down when you hit this speed it'll push you quarter of the way through already through your parachute pe uh, section and then if you want to make sure you hit the ground you want to rotate your your dude side to side using the buttons and you'll see that your kilometers per hour will remain at something like 60. this will help you land way way faster than most players and get to loot as quick as possible it goes without saying that you need to avoid something like a large body of water if you land in the middle of a large body of water it is extremely awkward and it will slow down your game drastically there is no way of currently diving straight into the water and imagine if there was you would probably die so in this clip you can see i'm coming down and i touch the surface of the water i disappear under the surface and there is no boats anywhere to be seen so i've now slowed down my progress within the game drastically so avoid water when possible i definitely don't want to be landing it anymore now interesting enough i've actually been asked this quite a few times i've been asked what does the weather do within the game itself now this is for a different video altogether and you could go in depth about it especially when they've got weather coming into new maps but as you've just seen the guy fly straight past me there it didn't affect his downfall whatsoever and it also isn't affecting my parachute whatsoever so the weather in the game doesn't at this moment in time affect how your parachute landing goes there is no resistance or any gusts of winds that might knock you off it's entirely up to player controls i don't know whether they'll implement something like this but as of this moment in time you will be able to land no matter what the weather actually is in the game now when you are landing down as well as avoiding water and the weather and everything like that you want to make sure that you don't hit an object in an awkward way it slows down your progress to landing and it can cause a very weird glitch which can sometimes leave you hanging in the the air this hasn't happened to me recently but i was purposely trying to get an example for you guys where i'd fly into an object on purpose this can happen to players especially beginners and in the second clip as you can see here i'm coming down on this uh, bunker area there's like a large power plant and there's loads of bunkers over that side and i'm coming down at the power plant and i'm glitching against the wall if i were to get caught you would have to cut your parachute and this can sometimes cause a lot of damage to your player at the start of the game because obviously you've got fall distance which is something you want to avoid now the next Next thing I'm going to be showing you is something that is going to be very exciting for brand new players. This is the next one which is absolutely amazing. This is my favourite tip out of all of them. This is what we call Titty Tower. Now a bunch of my mates call it. Uh, I think a lot of people call it that as well on stream. Now this is the first area you want to go to. It's in the military base and it's where the two towers are. You really can't miss it. It's just on the outskirts on the mountain. Now these are locations that you can only land on if you land with the parachute. You cannot access these because they're blocked off on the stairs so if you don't land on top of this tower then you will not get the loot and sometimes you can get the best loot possible here in there's more than one so there's another location after this where i'll show you on the map as well and in this clip here you see me land on the one next to the military base so when we land on this i discover myself uh, a shotgun and i get some ammo but you've got to be very careful dropping off the dome because you can fall to your death when i pick up the shotgun i also find an air time scope which is amazing it's the best you can find actually in the map itself Itself. Now the second titty tower as we call it is near a, a place called Gatka which is on the left side of the map. It's uh, it's actually a very small thing and it just looks like a house but if you use Gatka and you look down you when you dive out you'll be able to see this and once again you have to be very careful you have to get the right approach and this will take some practice just to build a land so I advise every time you jump in purposely set yourself a dead on location and aim to land on it. If you can perfect parachuting downwards you will be able to land on these towers with ease and once again you'll be able to find better and better gear if you have the look because obviously the spawn of the loot in the game is entirely random so when i land on this one unfortunately i'm provided nothing of greatness um, and i actually just as an example before i was saying you have to be careful when you land i nearly glitched off this one so I, even somebody who's done this over and over again i find it really bloody difficult it's not exactly the easiest landing it's very low surface area so there's a guy there who's shooting an individual who doesn't currently have a weapon now i go in here i get up a, a med just to be 100 percent sure that if i get damaged i get 100 percent my health and i'm looking out for this player the guy with the gun and the guy with the gun is just running over here as you can see on screen he goes over and loots the guy he goes kill so i'm like okay let's go over and get this okay let's go over and knock, knock this guy out for a lol so i'm chasing this fella all right and as i come in I like stop for a second I'm getting all impatient and I'm going to be all hidden and stuff and then out of the corner comes another guy and so the other guy kills the guy I was chasing of which both are completely and utterly blind 
This is something, an example that I'm going to be doing in a future video. I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to survive and actually how to play the game uh, better. Simple little things such as what these guys didn't actually do was watch their six. You need to use alt on PC and to look around and always keep an eye on things that are going around. Don't just run straight forwards because you never know what's behind you. And that is one of the, the extra tips I want to provide you today. But that will also feature in a, in a brand new episode that I'm going to be working on and I'm currently collecting clips for. So I hope that you stay tuned. Uh, for the for that obviously it's going to be absolutely wicked but once again thank you for tuning in i hope that i've helped you with your parachuting uh look forward to playing with you all and speaking to you all in the comments section below my name's seven also known as martin wood like and comment on all that you love take care of yourselves peace